Hey everyone, welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack, and this is going to be a quick look at the Zilla Grip product. So Zilla Grip was sent to me by the company to test and look at, and this product apparently they claim that when you put it on your printer bed, it will be able to print PLA, ABS, PETG, nylon, PC, POM, and PP on a cold bed. So this was really, really interesting to me. So you put a thin coating on your glass bed and you can print all those materials on a cold bed. And then you heat the bed up after to pop the part off, which is super interesting. It's basically the opposite of what we normally do with our printer beds. So I got a lot of interest on this product on social media when I posted about it. So I thought I would make this quick look video just to apply it to my glass bed on my CR10 and try to print some PETG from Filament One on a cold bed and see if this product actually works. Which if it does, will be super interesting and very cool. So the benefits of printing on a cold bed is, is that if there's a power outage or something, or if your printer loses power, your part will stay stuck to the bed. Also, you can save some electricity by not heating up your bed the entire print. And also it could be a little bit safer by not having your bed uh, heated up as well all the time. So I have a model already sliced up on my SD card. I have some PET chi ready to print. And we're going to try to apply this to my bed and see if it works. So here is the instruction safety sheet they sent with the Zilla Grip bottle. If I flip it over, there's some nice hand-drawn figures of how to apply it. So I've read this already, but the basics are that you apply a very thin coat going one way, then let it dry, then th do another thin coat the other way, then let it dry. The coating will not be tacky. So I have to apply this first, then let it dry before printing on it. Then also when uh, it's done printing, you heat up the bed. You can use a razor or the spatula or a sharp putty knife to go under the part and then pop it off the bed. Uh, also down here, it comes with the silicone brush here, which is pretty cool. And then they say you can use a fork to remove the dry residue from the, from the silicone after we finish using it. Um, and also to print with PETG, make a very, make a, a light coat or thin, it, or thin it with acetone before application. So I don't have acetone right now, so I'll be using a light coat of this. So if you do get this, make sure to read this in full and the safety sheet. But I already did that, so I'm gonna put that on the side for now. And we're going to apply this on my glass bed. So I do recommend uh, applying it on a glass bed. So I remove as much of the glue stick as I, as I can. You can still see a little bit of it, but it's pretty clean. So now we are going to I guess uh, put some in the middle here because the, the print is pretty small, but it is a big flat, it has a big flat uh, surface on the bed to helpfully uh, show that it can stop warping on a cold bed with PETG. All right. All right. It's dripping a little bit, but I'm, I'm trying not to touch this material. So I'm going to leave that on the side for now. I'm going to use the included silicone brush to make a thin coat over the area that I will be printing. All right, so we're back now. I did do another separate coat, like I said in the instructions on top of this one, and they are both pretty dry. I can feel it with this silicone brush that it's not spreading anymore and it's pretty dry. I can feel that. All right, so now that this is applied, we can go ahead and start the print with this Filament One PETG. Again, this is a totally cold bed, 240 on the nozzle and zero on the bed. So it's a room temperature bed we're printing at. This is PETG. So normally you would use a heated bed all right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. I'm doing uh, three, three skirt lines just to prime the nozzle first. And that's gonna print this pretty big circle. It's gonna be all flat first layer. 
hopefully see if it'll stop the warping. All right, so we're back here and it's pretty much about halfway done with the first layer. Everything's looking pretty good so far. It's sticking down really well to the bed. And again, this is a totally cold bed. You can see here, zero, totally cold bed. And we're printing with filament one PETG. All right, so we're back again and we're on the second layer. You can see there, so far, so good. There's zero warping. The edges are all sticking down perfectly fine. Looks really good so far. You can see the gyroid infill right now. And so far looks awesome. There's zero warping so far. All the edges are sticking to the bed great. And so far so good. Looks great. All right, so it looks like we're about halfway done. And so far it looks fantastic. There is nothing popping off the bed at all. Everything's sticking perfectly. And uh, so far, so good. You can check again. The bed is at zero, or it's a uh, room temperature, but the bed is set at zero. All right, so we're back and the print has finished. And as you can see, all of the corners stayed down really, really well. The print looks awesome. And all of the corners are pretty much perfectly stuck to the bed. We're going to heat up the bed and it should release our part here. So I'm gonna go over to the display. I'm gonna heat, heat it up and I'll come back when the bed is uh, heated up. All right, so we're back and the directions say to heat the bed up to 80 to 90 C. Right now I'm about 75, so I'm almost there. I have my, uh, my spatula here, which will hopefully help get underneath and pop the part off. It does have a little bit of a beveled edge, so I can try to get under there. I think it's one-handed, so hopefully it'll, it'll work. The bed is pretty hot now, I can feel it with my hands. It's pretty hot to touch. All right, so I got the spatula to stick under one of the corners. Slowly getting the spatula underneath. I do feel that the material is actually popping the part off. It's not popping off by itself, but I can feel that the material is releasing from the glass bed. And, and this is sticking super well. So it did do its job and stuck the part to the bed. Oop, almost done. And there we go. Look at that. So the part came off pretty easily. And there is some residue on the bottom of the print that was expected. But I think you can just wash this off and it should look pretty fine. And let's see, let's take a look at the bottom. Not bad at all. Pretty much zero warping. Even the edges on the sides, you can see here on this side. That's pretty much dead straight. No warping at all. So you can see here my print is finished. I can put my little benchy in there. Looks pretty cool. All right, so this uh, Zilla Grip product, it did work as it was advertised. I put it down on the glass bed as it, was, as it was cold. I printed PETG on a cold bed with the Zilla Grip. I heated the bed up to around ADC and I used a spatula to pop the print off and it looks great. I'm actually really impressed with this. So I guess if you want to grab a bottle of this Zilla Grip, I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks to them for sending this bottle out to me to take a look at and test out. And it definitely does work from my testing. The PETG did stick to a cold glass bed. So thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. 
Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will see you all in the next video.